Why do the women always say they're looking for a mature man whilst they're acting like children? Love Island All Stars Day 10 and Tyler and Hannah went to the terrace and she was saying to him, oh, I think you're really mature, blah, blah, blah. And then I thought that they went to give each other a cuddle and he went to give her like a kiss on the cheek and then she 100% smacked her lips on him, right? And I actually went back to watch it because she was saying, oh, it just stuck it on me and I didn't know what to think and I thought, that that's not what I just seen. Even when I watched it again, that's not what I seen. But then when he was talking to the boys about it, he was saying, oh, it was like 60 40 me. I don't know, it just didn't seem that way. Tyler and Toby were talking about Hannah and Molly. How many times did Tyler say bro? I was getting to the point where I was like, is that just the only word that he can say at this point? It was driving me insane. So after that, he went and spoke to Kaz and told her that he kissed Hannah on the terrace. But then when he was telling people about it later, it was like, oh, I went straight to Kaz and told her straight away. No, he fucking didn't. Then Liberty took it upon herself to go and speak to him and say, oh, I don't think that what you're saying really gels with what we were talking about the other day where I wanted you to give my friend respect and blah, blah, blah. Aye, okay, she's sticking up for her pal, right? But I'd have been like, listen, Liberty, Kaz is an adult. She doesn't need you to speak up for her. If she has got something to say, she can come and speak to me. Do not fucking speak to me like a child. After the challenge the night before, Toby and Molly were speaking and I don't know what it is about her. She's just such a gaslighter. But he's like, oh, you make me nervous. And she's like, oh, do I? I quite like that. And I'm like, oh, fuck off, Molly. The way I talk about this show, you would think I hate it, but I just can't stand fake-ass bitches. Callum and Toby were talking about Georgia S and Molly, and Toby's changed his tune since the other day. He was in a huff because Callum told Georgia S something that he had said, and he was in a bad mood about it. But then after the task, when they had kissed Molly, and now he's into her, he's, he's trying to be nice all of a sudden. And he was obviously nervous because all he could say was like, 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 like. I mean, I say like a lot, but at least I can get through a couple of sentences. The boys and girls were having their morning chats in their little groups. There's something about this that I just can't stand. Like, they're just separating the boys and girls. And it's just weird to me. However, you get a lot more information out of the boys when they do it like this. Georgia H was talking about Anton and saying how on paper he's the perfect guy and how he's really nice and that's the type of guy she should be going for but he's giving her the act and she doesn't know why. Meanwhile, he's sitting talking about her saying things are going great and he's like under the thumb at this point. But the thing is, as we know, Anton was saying that he hasn't had any luck with girls and he's normally getting friends on when we know fine well that he had a girlfriend for over a year, so you can't listen to one fucking word that comes out of his mouth. Arabella was speaking to Mitch as if they were friends again. I wouldn't be speaking to him after the way he spoke to her the other day and he's like, oh, I know it, babes. Like, just the way he was speaking down to her, I'd have been like, ah, actually, fuck off, I'm not going to speak to you again. But he was saying, oh, I've made it very clear to Liberty that I'm still open. I can't believe that I ever stuck up for him. Last season, I really liked Mitch, but he's just a wee fucking skis bag. Sophie and Tom are back. I don't really remember Sophie at all, but I remember Tom. He actually reminds me of one of my exes. He looks a bit like him, and he was in love with himself as well. As soon as they walked in, you could see Georgia S's face. And I didn't know that they had a history together, right? But you could see on her face, she was like, Oh my God, <gasps> Tom! As if like the most fucking hottest guy in the world had walked in. Georgia S took Hannah away from the girls' chat and she was saying, Oh, um, I can't believe Tom's here, we've got a history, blah, blah, blah. And then in the diary room, she was saying, Oh, I feel as if my Love Island experience is really starting now. Now, you would think that what she should have done is took Callum to the side and had this conversation with him, especially after Tom picked her for the date. But no, she just seems like a fucking sneaky wee bitch now. They both had to pick three people for a date, so Sophie picked Chris, Toby and Josh. Why the fuck is anybody picking Toby? I don't get it. Tom picked Arabella, Molly and Georgia S. He's got a history with Arabella and Georgia, right? So he picked Molly. Now, I must admit that Molly is stunning. I just don't like her attitude. I don't like her personality. I don't like the fact that she gaslights the fuck out of people. She does things and then just blames men for everything. I can't stand it. I felt as if Sophie's dates were pretty basic. When she was on the date with Chris, like, I really like Chris. But he's just, he jokes about too much. Like, you can't even have one serious conversation with him. But... He does seem like a nice guy. At the time though, Arabella was on a date with Tom 
and she was like, oh, things like couldn't go forward with us because I was in a relationship or whatever at the time. And I thought to myself, I would choose Chris over Tom any day of the week. When Sophie was on her date with Toby, it just bores me. It just bores me to death. Like, I can't stand anything about him to the point where I actually zoned out. Maybe something interesting happened on the date, but I was just like, don't really give a fuck at that point. When Tom was on his date with Molly, I don't know, like, he was saying to her, I think you're really stunning, I'm glad to see you here, blah, 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 and he doesn't have a history with her. But I don't know, I just don't trust her. Then when Sophie was on her date with Josh, like, they were feeding each other chocolate-covered strawberries, and I was like, no, like, I can feed myself. It's not romantic. It's especially not romantic when you're sitting at a table in front of loads of people. It's different if you're eating something and it's good and you're like, oh, do you want to try this? And you feed somebody about it, but actually deliberately, like, feeding people stuff, it's, it's weird to me. So then Tom was on his date with Georgia S. And I really liked her, right? She was one of my favourite people. Somebody told me that in her season she was a bit of a bitch. But I just... She was like, oh, you make me shy and all this, like... Literally acting like a child. I was embarrassed, right? And poor Callum's up there. When he was talking to her at the start of the episode and he's like, oh, when you find somebody that makes you happy, like, you just know and all that. He was talking to her and he really seemed as if he was being genuine. And she was just totally zoned out. She's like, yeah, I know what you mean. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Like, as if she was just paired up with him for something to do because she was bored. And I actually feel really bad for him. And it's not as if he was acting right because you could really see that he was hurt. And I know that they're in there to meet different people and, like, stay open and get to know people and all that. But her behaviour at that table was... Well, I don't really use the word cringe a lot, right? But it was cringe as fuck. And then she's like, oh... I really want to give you a cuddle. And he's like, oh, sit on my knee. She's like, oh, no, I'm not going to sit on your knee. Instantly sits on his knee. Instantly. And then she's pulling this stupid face. And he's like, oh, I really missed your voice. Oh, did you? I really missed you. See, if you miss somebody, fucking give them a text. It's 2024. It's not fucking 1991. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to go to somebody's door and be like, oh, I miss you. Oh, oh it's Tom in. Will you tell him I miss him? Fucking text them. These people are supposed to be adults. Another thing that confused me was when Tom says to Molly, oh, it's not just about looks. I go on how people act with other people. And I like how you are with other people. And I thought, is he talking about, like, did he know her outside and he likes how she acts with other people? Or did he watch her last season? Because in this season, she's been a complete fucking gaslighting fanny. So finally, last night, the public had to vote who they paired Sophie and Tom up with. And it was the people that they went out on the date. So let me know in the comments who you think they're going to end up paired up with. I kind of hope that Sophie gets paired up with Toby. Just because I can't stand him and I don't really care about her. And then for Tom, I don't really know. I, I just hope he doesn't get paired up with Arabella because Chris seems to really like her. But I mean, if he gets paired up with Georgia S, God help him. She's acting like a fucking child. And then if he gets paired up with Molly, at this point, to be honest, I think she'd just go with anybody.